Allié. Robozuna pits the most powerful combatant bots against each other as they duke it out over three rounds, but only one team can take the win. This is the second round of this Robozuna season and the arena is packed. The atmosphere is electric. Let's get into it. Today's matchup sees Team Pardas take on Team Veritas. We've got an intense opening round with Clunk up against Gripper. Gripper here technically, stat-wise, the better combatter bot. But let's see how it plays out as the action kicks off. Let's go! And look at this, Clunk makes light work of Gripper. Pushing him out of the way like he's nothing, but watch out! Gripper comes in and rips off Clunk's arm. That's insane! Those power pliers slice through Clunk's arm like a knife through Robo Grease. Gripper's gonna come along and with an open goal takes an easy score and an easy goal for Team Pardis, giving them the first round. Round two's about to kick off. Next up is Gasket taking on Spark, and he knows the pressure is on if Team Veritas wants to take anything from this match. Can Spark do bits in the arena? It's game on for round two. And the Thug Balls come straight in, Spark making some big plays, but it's not over yet. Gasket is not taking it easy anyone's round now. Ooh, the Taser Fist coming in clutch for Spark as he takes down Gasket and leaves it open for an easy goal for Team Veritas. One round each as we enter round three. 2v2! But no way can I get Clunk repaired in time for round three. We can't put two bots in, we lose the game. What about putting Mangle in? Mangle is a late addition because Clunk is incapacitated. Mangle has never been in the arena before. He's not even a combatant bot. I've got to be honest, I fear for both him and Team Veritas. Ooh. It is showing right now as Mangle gets thrown around and it is all up to Spark to hold it down for Team Veritas. Ooh, that's gonna hurt. But even Spark is having a tough time. Both combatant bots down for Team Veritas. And you're finished. What's this? Mangle coming out of nowhere. Mangle has activated his Flash Welder. He's back in the game, on his feet and taking the Thug Ball all the way. He's gonna get the clutch goal for Team Veritas. Go! Who would have thought it? A non combatant box getting the third round victory. This is crazy. Amazing scenes from staring defeat in the face to a last minute win with a last minute substitute. That's Robo Zuna. Join us next time for more Bottom Bot action. Welcome everyone to the home of the biggest, baddest battles. This is Robo Zuna. I'm your host, Ali A, and today we have three rounds, bot v bot action, with a point up for grabs each round, winner taking all, but who will today's winner be? Well, let's find out, they're heading into the arena right now. First up, we have Spark from Team Veritas taking on Blockhead from Natrix. It's game on with round one. And already Spark has the ball, and he is making Blockhead look absolutely ridiculous. He can't even touch him. He goes in for that Taser Jab, but Blockhead is having none of it. The Taser Jab falls flat against Blockhead, who comes in and... Ooh! He's been hit by the Electrifying Taser Jab and is all over the place. It is back and forth right now, and it is a goal! A stunning bounce back trick shot steals the win for Team Veritas. Now, round two Clunk versus Torch. Game on, let's get into the action. Clunk goes straight in there for a brand new power but he has missed. What is he doing? Clunk behind you. Torch comes in. He hits him with his bone power move. The Torch arm and Clunk is left there. Torch is going to take this round if Clunk is not careful. He grabs... 
And he scores in his round two, two team matrix. Guys, this is a deciding round. Round three, whoever takes this point takes the match. It is Pounder from Team Natrix against the return of Mangle. It's game on. And look at that. Mangle pulling off moves we have never seen from him before. He has dropped the third ball. He, what is he doing? Has he learned some new moves since last time? Pounder has no idea what's going on. The full metal meltdown. He's picked him up, he's thrown him down, he is out of action. Mangle is pulling off some crazy moves here. He goes for an easy goal and he picks up the win in round three for Team Veridus. He's looking good right now. Veridus picks up another win and it's mad props to the main man Mangle who shows us again why he's the most exciting, most unpredictable bot in Robo Azuna. What won't he do next? Join us again for more red hot action in the ultimate bot battling competition. I've been Ali and this has been RoboZuna. Welcome to the home of the biggest, baddest battles. This is RoboZuna. The arena is hosting Team Veritas taking on Team Capra today in front of a full house. This has been a brutal match so far. Team Veritas has lost Clunk, leaving them with only Spark and Mangle to take on Clubber, Rota and Burst from Team Capra. Let's jump straight into the round three action in an intense 3v3 where we actually see Clunk on the floor, down and out. This is gonna be intense. Spark, run, score, mangle block. Spark has got the thud ball, but along comes Rota and Spark is taken down and out. It is all left up to Mangle right now. There's a 1v3 situation. It is not looking too hot. In comes Burst from Team Capra. He is taking out the opposition. Oh, look at that. No, Mangle is having none of it. And Burst is put down and out. Is this going to be an easy? Oh, no. In comes Clubber from Team Capra taking out what now looks to be a completely down and out Team Veritas. It looks like it's going to be an open and easy goal. No, Mangle score. Mangle is back up. He's going to try his best to stop this open goal. Battle block of fun. Mangle hits Clubber out the way, but it still leaves Rota to take an easy and open shot. But Mangle comes in and knocks the thud ball out of the way. Look at that replay. What a play from Mangle, who really has been the star player for Team Veritas right now. Poor Mangle is put in that headlock. If he can stop the vision of Rota here, it could be all over. The thud ball is down. Rota is electrified on the edge of the arena, leaving an open goal for Mangle. He takes it in an intense victory. Who would have guessed it? How long can Team Veritas keep this streak up? Find out next time on RoboZuna, the ultimate bot battling competition. Welcome everyone to the home of the biggest, baddest battles. That is right, it's RoboZuna. You lucky people are joining us in the third and final round of a thrilling matchup between Team Veritas and Team Ursus. Three really is the magic number in this battle as we have Clunk, Spark and Mangle set to take on Scratcher, Crackler and Lake. I'm your host, Alie. Now, Team Veritas have stormed through the Border League so far, but have they got what it takes to get into the Latin League? Team Ursus stands in the way. Let's find out. Here comes the combatter bots and Team Veritas. If they're nervous, they're certainly not showing it. Scratcher and Crackler are leading the way now for Team Ursus. They look ready, but where's Lathe? Some late last minute engineering from Team Ursus means Lathe is stepping into the arena with a serious power up. Will the Thriller Driller be the difference out on the field? Here we go, it's game on! Football mine! An early scrap for the thug ball, but it's Clunk who comes out on top. But what's this? Shocking! Crackler's lightning whip puts a stop to that play straight away. But look at that! 
Blades Mega Drill absolutely shuts down Mangle, and that looks like it is game over for him. We used to big hits in Robozuna, but I've never seen anything like that before. But wait a second, this isn't the end! From the death, Mangle is back in action! Mangle pulls off his arm and Lace Drill is gone! Clunk, don't miss! Who would have called that? Mangle with an epic fakey there, pretending he was out, but he was actually fine, and the rest of Team Ursus drop like it's hot, and they are out of this! From downtown, here comes Spark! Go! Let's see that again! What a match, what a team! Veridus continued their meteoric rise with another epic win! Can anyone stop them? Find out next time in the ultimate bot battling competition, RoboZuna! Welcome to the home of the biggest, baddest battles, it's RoboZuna! We're at Burner Marina for today's RoboZuma game between Team Veridus and Team Volpus. Veridus have been on a roll, but they've not met a team like Volpus before. I'm your host, Ali A, and this match is set to be a classic. Team Volpus aren't big in stature, but they make up for their size with speed and, uh, well, they always turn up with a surprise or two. Veridus can expect a rapid onslaught from the opening matchup. But they've proven the pundits wrong every game so far during this remarkable run. Can they do the same today? Let's find out in round one. It is Pinsa lining up against Clunk. It's the Terra Talons versus the Ratchet. Here we go. Here we go then. Clunk picked up the stun ball straight away. The Pinsa is having none of it as he takes it right back. You're not a champ. You're a chump. You're not a player. You're a pun. You're it is a face-off of all face-offs. But Clunk's talk gets him nowhere as Pinsa comes in, knocks him out, and that's an easy goal. Let's see what happens in round two, where Spark takes on Ruler. Here we go. Veridus have to win this to even up the game. Spark goes for an early run. It looks like an easy opening, but what's that brawler with the windmill fist? Spark looks slowed down, but no. Wait, he has destroyed his fist and he goes up in flames. It's an explosive move from Spark as brawler burns up and burns out. Spark gets himself an easy goal and that's 1-1. It's all on the third and final matchup. Round three, it's game on. Round three's kicking off already. It looks like Team Veritas are gonna take this. Spark is well ahead of his opposition. But what's this? Listen up, metalhead. Please, I've seen paint. Drive faster than you move. Why did he stop? What has he done? Too much talk and not enough walk. An easy steal. Just what were Team Veritas thinking? An easy win in the end for Team Volpus. And an absolutely avoidable defeat for Veritas. Disrespecting their opponents got them nowhere. Surely lessons to be learned. Can they come back? Find out next time as we bring you more RoboZuna. Welcome to the home of the biggest, baddest battles, this is RoboZuna. You join us today for a tantalizing tiebreaker at the Telester Arena. Team Blatter and Team Veritas have been trading blows all match. As ever, I'm your host, Ali A, and this battle has been seesawing all over the place because the arena floor tilts. Let's check out the replay from round two. Team Veridus' combatant bot Spark had the ball and dishes out a sweet kick to take out Dent. But then, whoa! Jilted by the tilt, Spark's lost his footing and the thug ball. Team Blatter's clout picks up and slams home. 
But in the final round, we find out who will stand and deliver and who's going to fall and fail. The players are taking to the field. And for Team Veritas, we have Mangle and Conk linking up against Clout and Pulp. It's game on! I've got to be honest with you, Clout does not look confident here. I'm going to pulverize ya. Oh, that's horrible! Clunk has lost his armor and the arena is tilting yet again! Pulp is on the slide but launches the shot! Look at that save! Clunk with the incredible play, bashing the third ball out of the way with his head nonetheless to save Team Veritas! Clunk's got a thud ball, but he's only got one arm. He's going to have to use Mangle here if they want to get away with his victory. But a sweet 360 path lays up for Mangle. And look at that. The ground is tilted again. Mangle's left with the thud ball. He's climbing up. Can he make this happen? He goes for it. He scores. And Mangle has saved the day with the victory on the incredible tilting arena. What scenes? Join us next time on RoboZuna. Welcome to the home of the biggest, baddest battles. This is RoboZuna. Today we have an evening matchup for a fight under the lights. It's a three round rematch between two big rivals. It's Veritas versus Natrix. Natrix are out to avenge a dramatic loss. Where Team Veritas' mangle was the difference the last time these two titans of the game met. But can Veritas claim the win again? Well, if they want to, they're going to have to watch out for the Pit of Peril, which randomly opens up to reveal spinning, razor-sharp metal shredders. And the players will also have to dodge the Doom Disc, which flies out of nowhere with the power to chop a combatant bot in half. Here comes round one, where Clunk is up against Thrasher from Natrix. It's game on. Clunk has the third ball and is on the move, but Thrasher is closing in with his mallet poised for a hammer blow. Clunk tosses the ball and thrashes Thrasher. Is it spin and win for Clunk and Veridus? Clunk marches up the field at pace. But here comes the Peril Pit and Clunk has to halt in a hurry. Whoa! Thrasher comes in with a shove towards the Shredder. Incredible! Clunk rides the metal and makes the shot. Insane! Veridus takes round one. Clunk looked like he was about to get pulverized in the pit. But the weight of Thrasher's mallet propelled him to safety and the goal. In round two, Mangle takes on Team Natrix's Slicer, who is looking sharp. Mangle has been a standout combatant bot from this league, but Slicer is Natrix's strongest. Can Mangle prevail or even survive in one piece? Round two, game on. Mangle puts Slicer down and wow, he's really got the upper hand. But Slicer isn't letting go of the third ball easily. Oh, Veridus looks like they've made a big mistake in their preparation. That arm has come loose. And Slicer does what he does best, slicing. This combat boy is clearly enjoying his moment and slams home with a spectacular finish. Goal! It's one round apiece. After a strong start, Veridus are pegged back and they must be concerned about getting any more malfunctions. Let's see who's up for round three. Here comes the jolt vaulting, firmware frying, always electrifying, spark. And, uh, is this supposed to happen? It looks like Team Natrix are making a surprise substitution. Is this allowed? What's the plan here? Mega battle ball, wild. Natrix are pulling out all the stops. Let's head into round three. Mega Battle Bolt might be big, but Spark has the speed to race to the Thud Ball and pick up possession. But he runs right into the Mega Battle Bolt and picks up Spark like a ragdoll. Taser Jab! Sharp thinking from Spark gets him out of trouble. But the Taser Jab looks like it's Mega Charge Mega Battle Bolt. That laser looks ready to deal some serious damage. I fear for Spark. 
But wait, he's overcharged! Out of control and out of here! Matrix calls a quick timeout and makes a substitution. Here comes Combatter Box Crusher. Remarkable scenes. We have one Combatter Bot on the loose after Mega Batter Bot batter through the arena. But with Crusher entering the fray, how will Team Veritas respond? You want this? Wow, Veritas has forfeited the match to save the marketplace from the rampaging Mega Batter Bot. And that is some serious bad energy being dished out. It might have cost them the match, but making the right choice makes Team Veritas is today's real winners. So how will this play out? Join us next time on RoboZuna. Welcome to the home of the biggest, baddest battles. This is RoboZuna. You join us live from the RoboZuna mid-season tournament where the top eight teams pair up for a Royal RoboZuna Rumble. The overall winners will move up in their rankings, taking home the kudos and the big prize money. We're already on to the second match, but let's catch up on what happened in the others when Natrix and Chiro took on Capra and Eurus. Natrix and Chiro took the first round of Torch stealing the limelight. And Mega Batterbot fried home quickly in the second to secure the win. Let's go to the arena as we join a two-on-two -two round with Crank from Vulpers and surprise inclusion by Veritas, Clunk face off against Snips and Pulp repping Team Pardis and Blattar. I think everyone's surprised that out of a team packed full of stars, Veritas have put forward Clunk. Big gamble. Here we go, it's round one and it's game on. The third ball is up and Pulp takes possession. It's an early face-off, just look at Crank's stats! Crank's spinning attack takes out Pulp and Clunk makes the play to pick up the third ball. Pulp lost the third ball but gets his revenge. Snips and Pulp are now double teaming Clunk! And it's a steal! Clunk is in hot pursuit but that slam by Snips means teams part as Blatt are getting it all in four to go! Nice finish, nice teamwork. And now we're into the second round with more two-on-two -two action. We've got Spark and Brawler taking on Clout and Gripper. And Sparks runs into trouble already, but can his Taser Fist get him out of it? And how? Clout takes a shock, but here comes Gripper. Wow! Sparks shocks him right in the face with Brawler pitching in with a fine piece of defense. The break is on, Sparks launches it ahead of Brawler. Is this the opener? Or is Brawler about to get broad and mauled? Good call by Brawler, what a throw, what a catch, what a play. What a goal! And that is round two with the game all tied up. Now the winners of this final round will take the match and go on to play Team Natrix Chiro in the Robozuna mid-season playoff tournament. It's game on, round three. Then to the dive ball for Team Pardis Blatter. What a play by Pinter! Are you not dentertained? for Mangle. Pins and blocks and holds his ground. But here comes Dent with the steal. He shoots. Surely he scores. Mangle from nowhere. He's used his dismemberment arm to defend the goal. Pinsa picks up, shrugs off the attack. Finds his teammate with the pass. Mangle takes it one-handed. He's only got one arm and he's only got one aim to score. It's one giant leap for Mangle and one massive goal for Team Veritas Volpus. What a win. These combative bots left everything in the arena, including an arm. And that's why we love RoboZuna. Guys, I'll see you next time.